Hey everyone, it's Bobby again from Tucka CG Fly Shop here in Silva. A beautiful little drizzly rainy day out. Still a good day to go fish though. The rivers are in good shape. So um, pro tip there, this time of year, just because we get rain, a lot of times the trees being that they're greening up and starting to pop leaves, they suck a lot of this moisture out of the ground. So the rivers don't rise quite as much as they would in like January when we get a rain. So anywho, let's jump into the video today. We're gonna talk about the brand new, just came out like a week ago, North Fork Pax from Umpqua Fly Fishing. So um, these things are really cool. I really like the colors. Um, they come in, in three styles, two colors. So the two colors are pine and cobalt. So you can kind of see those all the way around with a couple accent features between that kind of gold or yellow color with the orange on the pine there. And then we have, this is the chest pack. We have a sling pack and a lumbar slash hip pack. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, really cool. Uh, these are so new, I haven't memorized a lot of the stuff on them. So lucky for us, they got this little card on them that I can read off of, little prompt thing. And the cool part about them is they are all, are all three the same weight, however they did that. They're 1.2 uh, pounds, 19 ounces um, total weight. So um, pretty light overall when you think about what you're getting with them. Uh, they're, the shell of it is made with 6,000 polyester fabric and the liner, which is on the inside, which I'll show you here in a second, it's 2,000 polyester. Again, I honestly don't know what that means because I'm not a polyester expert, but something to think about if you know what that all means. I'm going to read through the features. All the features are the same on all three of them, um, with the one exception of the sling pack does have a couple straps for to hold a rod tube. Um, so. Uh, spacious main compartment holds up to four, four full-size fly boxes. Has a secondary compartment which accommodates two full-size fly boxes, so a total of six fly boxes. Uh, internal pockets organize your leaders, tippet, indicators, and more. So I'll show you all that. It's got a little zipper pocket and some slide-in pockets and things like that. All three of them have a net slot or net sheets, as some people call it, um, where you can slide the handle of your net in. Um, so that's kind of nice. That's kind of become a standard feature on a lot of packs nowadays. It's got the external fly patch, which you can see here on this guy. It's a little foam guy. Um, these do come off their uh, Velcro on, so you can replace them if they get chewed up. <coughs> Additional stretch pockets, uh, which are on the sides right here, that you can stick some stuff in, maybe a small water bottle or something like that. Uh, and then they have the proprietary VersaLoop accessory attachments, which are these loops right here on the front um, that you can attach stuff to. And on the sling pack, they actually have some on the, uh, the strap that goes over your shoulder also. So let's jump in and look at the features individually and then we'll talk price on them and stuff also. Uh, so as you can see, here's the secondary compartment. Um, I'm gonna turn it around this way so you can see these pockets that are in the front. So it's got this long pocket that's right here in the front that you can stuff, you know, leader tippet, uh, maybe your dry shake or gel or something like that for your dry flies in. Um, something that I brought up um, in the first shooting of this video, I'm gonna tell everybody, Justin deleted the first take of this. So. Here we are shooting it again. So <clears throat> you might get something else out of the second one though, because I messed up a couple times on the first one. But uh, I mentioned this before, they made this white kind of color. It's more vanilla than white, really, eggshell kind of color. Uh, at first I was like, man, that's gonna get dirty super easy, which it still may in some ways. I mean, I don't know, it may not. But I think they did this to make it easy to pick stuff up. So say your fly box popped open and some flies fell out you can pretty much see them if they were down in there. So I think that's actually a good idea at the end of the day. At least that's my take on it. So that's the secondary compartment. Then we have the main compartment here, which is a little bigger. And it's got your little key holder thing here to clip your keys in, a little zipper pocket on one side and another little slip in pocket here. Um, again, not a lot. And when you hear the price point, you're gonna say for bang for buck, you don't need a lot of little pockets in it. On the back, you have your, your, your strap system for, again, this is the chest pack, so this is your back of your chest pack. It's got your net slot right here that goes all the way through. You can see my finger sticking out. It does have an attachment if you want to do a magnetic uh, release type thing or something like that, or a retractable one, whatever your preference is there. All the straps are adjustable, make it fit you and all that good stuff. And again, we mentioned the little attachment loops. So those are basically all the little features on it for the most part. Again, you got two colors in the chest pack, cobalt and pine. Um, so let's jump into the sling next, since it's right here to my right. And again, same colors. We're gonna actually use, let's use the blue one since we use the pine one, the, the cobalt. Um, these are the straps I was talking about for your rod tubes here. They're adjustable. 
Um, as you can see, they got quite a bit of it. Just so you can probably do a rod tube, or you could roll a rain jacket up maybe and cinch it down in there or something like that. Um, so that's the one difference that this has that the other two styles don't have. Um, then you got, if I turn the pack up right, you got your net slot right here that goes all the way through. This is more for a long handle net. The lumbar and the chest pack, you could probably put a short handle net in. I would still probably put a, uh, some type of retractor or magnetic keeper on it just in case it fell out. But this is more for a long handle net. It does have the attachment point if you want to do a retractor or magnet um, for your net. Pockets are the same, so we're not going to waste anybody's time going through that. But uh, your main compartment, secondary compartment, same stuff, same zippers, all that type of stuff. Um, it's got the two, the uh, water bottle holder or something else, whatever you want to put there on this bad boy. And it's got the front pockets or front attachments, excuse me, on the front, just like the other one did. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the uh, sling pack, for lack of a better word. That's what it's called. So, set that one to the side. And we've got the lumbar number three. We, what's that saying? And there's more. So, same pockets, same design. As you see, these are kind of repetitive over and over. The only difference is the way you wear it, really and truly. Um, so it's got the shoulder strap system. So you can loop it over your shoulder so it takes some of the weight off your hips. Um, I do like that they, for the price point, they gave you um, the extra panels on your hips because that does help secure it to you. Adjustable, as usual. Um, it's got the two extra pockets on the sides, which is nice. Again, the pockets are the same. Um, so yeah, not much to say there. It just kind of depends on what your style is, what your preference is in wearing. Uh, we've said this before on packs. There's good and bad to all of them. You know, the hip pack gets wet easier because it sits lower on your body. Uh, the sling pack, you got to sling it around and stuff. So, you know, some people love that. Some people hate it, that it's out of their way, but they got to work to get the stuff when they need it. Um, and the chest pack, probably the one downside to it is it kind of blocks your view when it's sitting up on your chest and you have to look down and see a rock it might be in your way. So it's all personal preference there. Um, the one thing I didn't show you on this one that I'm going to show you is the net slot. There's the net slot for your, uh, your net if you were going to put one on this. So, yeah, all in all, let's talk price. So this is the hip pack. It comes in at $89. So 90 bucks, man. I feel like for a five liter pack, that's a good deal. The sling pack is right at 90 bucks also, 89, 95 or 99, whatever it is. Um, again, it's a five liter pack. They're all the same size, same weight for all three. And then last but not least, it costs a little bit more for the chest pack. It's $10 more, so 100 bucks basically. 99, 99, 95, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, 99, 95 is what it is. So, you know, it probably costs a little bit more to add this to it. You got more buckles and stuff. So, 10 more dollars if you like the chest pack. So, if you want to buy any of these or check them out a little bit more, obviously come by one of the three locations Bryson City, Silva, Waynesville. Check them out on flyshopusa.com. We got them up there. Um, you can call us 828 488 3333. Happy to answer uh, questions about them over the phone, all that good stuff. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, all that good social media stuff. Uh, and as always, come see us. Look forward to seeing you here in the shop or on the water.